Six persons successfully passed the vetting. They include Kwame Apiakubi, Dr. Dakosta Abuaje, and Amasewa. Former MP Yaoban, after serving two terms, is seeking a comeback. Ernest Yawenim and Osei Shere are the other aspirants. Private legal practitioner Edward Osei, who came second in the MPP's 2020 primary, says he was on course to winning the election but had to withdraw. The data indicated that I had the support of the majority of the delegates. In addition, even at a meeting held just last week, the constituency executives, patrons, and council of elders endorsed me as their preferred candidate for this primary. This they did due to my hard work in the constituency and the love and support I have built with the delegates. For more than three decades, Edward Osei held dual citizenship. The law suggests a person only qualifies as an MP at the time forms are submitted to the Electoral Commission. Per the interpretation, Mr. Osei's team believes his candidature was permitted under the law to contest, but his decision to withdraw was taken in the interest of the party. To prove my eligibility to contest in this by election, I will have to prove that by May 5th, 2023, which is about two weeks from now. And therefore, under the law and the constitution of Ghana, no one could have disqualified me during the vetting. On April 4th, 2023, I started the process with the U.S. Embassy to begin the renunciation process. Because by that time, you all know Honorable Basua had passed away. May God rest his soul. And we knew that there was going to be a by election. I am, or I was supposed to have my final interview for renunciation today the 19th of April, 2023. I also received a email from the United States Department of State, the Overseas Citizens Bureau, which when I wrote to them, that once I finish my renunciation today, and all goes well. The operative word is all goes well. I will have my certificate of renunciation within three working days. Meaning that by April 24th or 25th, I would have received my certificate of renunciation and I will have enough time to complete my documentation before the EC deadline of May 5th. Meanwhile, Mr. Osei has indicated his preparedness to support any candidate to be elected at the primary. I wish all the other aspirants in this primary good luck. I will support with all my heart whoever wins in this contest. We will work as a team to make sure that MPP wins the Kumo seat again. I also want to apologize to the people of Kumo and all the thousands of my supporters throughout the world who wanted to see me as the MP. The primary is slated for this Sunday. For Joy News, Nanaya Ochima, Kumau.